21 years later, 21 years. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Got a call from Coxie, uh, which is good. I got the opportunity to, to come back. And um, I've recently been working in a care home on the front line, which was a tough job for the last six or seven months. They were fantastic over in Manchester. Seen a different side of, uh, not in a football bubble, uh, learned so many new skills there. But um, I jumped at the chance really when he rang. Um, didn't take me long to say yeah. You know, we lived in this town for 18 years. I know other people want us to play, and other people want when they come, they want to be see lads pulling that shirt on and playing for the badge, not the name on the on the back of the shirt, which is so important. And um, obviously, Cox is younger than me; he's a young man. Uh, I've got a little bit more experience in him, and I'm hoping that uh, I can play a part in uh, us having a good, positive season. That's so important. Yeah, there was Richard Hall, Graham Alexander, there was a thing, I took him under my wing then when I was a, when I was like a senior player coming to the end of my playing career and I, um, I love like working with players and that and coaching, uh, sometimes got a, it's amazing in life, you, you sometimes got a better feeling coaching, I told the lads that this morning than playing, you know when you go and see young players get on in their lives and their careers and uh, players you know winning promotions and you've been part of that as a team. And that's what we're about here, hopefully now, you know, with a team, everyone's singing off the same in sheet and uh, Cox is uh, positive, I'm very positive as well, so, um, you know, we want to bring, you know, some good times back again, because it's uh, not been that too good over the last few years, you know, I've, followed, I've always followed Scunny, but um, to get back to have another chance, the 99's uh, Cup final's gone, we won it. We got promoted, obviously I, I went round with the flag with Swansea, that will never leave my mind. Uh, but that's gone, we're in a new era now, we're in modern day football. So, um, you know, we're working hard on the training ground today um, and I'm looking forward to it really. Of course it is, yeah, I mean the fans, it's all about the fans, you know, to be truthful because, you know, they come, they've worked all week, they come and want to have a couple of beers on a Saturday and see their team put a performance out, even if we win, lose, or draw. If they can, you know, I lived in Scotter for a lot of years and a lot of the people in Scotter used to say to me, like, you know, if we'd lost the game, we're not bothered because we, everyone was trying 100% and that's what we want and that's what we we're um, trying to get through to the players. You know, it's not just about one team member, it's about the team, about the backroom staff, it's about the people in the kitchen, people in the offices. People that turn up on Saturdays to do the games and work, part-time people. So we want to be all one big family and you've got to be positive and you've got to come in every day that you want to make this uh, club have success again. The opportunity it's called. They've got an opportunity, you know, sometimes you have to play a young player to see if they can handle it. There is a lot of young players in the squad, it's a young squad to be truthful. Uh, but we have to get on with that, you know, we have, uh, we've come, I've only been here now, it's my first session this morning. It'll take me a week or so to have a look and see, see how they're developing. But, um, you know, especially the younger players, you know, you can only get a chance in football if you get an opportunity to play. So uh, we'll be keeping a close eye on them. You know, I've been an academy manager at Huddersfield for five years. We produced some good players there, Philip Billing who went to Bournemouth, uh, Twain Holm uh, who came here. You know, we had a good uh, academy, but um, it's opportunities that they get, and so they've got to train every day they come in. They've got to train like it's a match day. There's not, that's, you know, that's the, way, that's the norm, that's the way we're going to be, me and Cotsey and the staff. Being positive, you've got to be in life, you've got to believe in it, you know. Uh, so, um, I'm looking forward to the challenge, I think it'll be great. Yeah, good, got my whistle, got my stopwatch. Um, I had to do 10 press ups because I work and if I get something wrong, if I make a decision with referee in the five aside or wherever and I get it wrong, I'll, I always give the lads 10 press ups. Getting on a little bit now but uh, I can do 10 press ups quite easy but uh, no, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be hopefully a successful journey and a positive journey. I thought good, there was a lot of good things. Um, we look strong, we look fit, and I think that's one of the biggest things now in the game, the one-day game. 
you know, these young players have got to be fit and they've got to be 100% and, uh, you know, they've shown a lot of good positive stuff on uh, on Saturday and we've got a couple more games but I think when the uh, season starts it might still be difficult with not having the fans in but one thing for sure that the fans uh, will know is that we're, we're going to come and have a right go at it whatever happens, you know, we're going to come and have a right go and uh, we'll always be like that Surroundings haven't changed, obviously. Um, you get a little bit older, but um, you know, when we're talking about that um, semi final and the final at Wembley when Garcia scored the winner, I used to call him Brian Robson, but uh, you know, 21 years on, but that's, that's life, that's your journey, you know, you get there and to come back, uh, like I said before, it's, uh, I'm so proud. Uh, I'm not being on the pitch, running around, trying to score goals. We're just trying to give these guys opportunities and get, guide them in their careers. You know, it's, it's, as a coach, you want to try and improve players. So there'll be a lot of work done on the training ground. You know, it won't be jumping in your car and off you go. It'll be uh, some long, long, some long hours in there, but it'll all be for a purpose. And that's making Scunthorpe United get up that league and hopefully try and get in the promotion push.